Starbucks market is open 24 hours for five days of the week, and this is why. There is no waiting for the opening bell. From the Monday morning opening in Australia to the late night close in New York, the Forex market never sleeps. This is awesome for those who want to trade on a part-time basis because you can choose when you want to trade. Morning, noon, night, during breakfast or in your sleep. This week we will show you where to get an indicator that plots these times in your graph as well as how to use it. You will find the links we use in the description for you to safely follow the steps we take. First off, we will start by downloading the indicator from Dev for Traders. Once downloaded, you will find it in our Downloads folder. You will open two Windows Explorers, one for the Downloads folder and one for the Trader 4 program files. You will need to go to your local disk C, the program files, ACM Gold Metal Trade 4 Client Terminal and then MQL4 and Indicators. Before we open our MT4 Terminal, we will need to make sure we know the opening and closing times of the sessions we are going to be dealing with. The main sessions are the European session, the American session and the Asian session. For the European session, the Frankfurt Stock Exchange and the London Stock Exchange are our main focus. The American session will involve the New York Stock Exchange and the Chicago Stock Exchange, while the Asian session will involve Tokyo and Hong Kong. We will go to www.forexmarkethours.com to find the opening and closing times according to our time zone. Once here, if the time zone is not Greenwich Mean Time plus two hours and showing Africa and Johannesburg, you will need to click the drop down and change it. Once changed, click go and the table will update according to our time zone. Now you will need to click on GMT hours which will give you the market times according to Greenwich Mean Time. This means we will need to add two hours to the times we see in this table to ensure we are accurate. We will take the earliest opening time and the latest closing time for each region. For Europe, we will take Frankfurt's opening, which is 7am, and London's closing, which is 5pm. For Europe, we will note the times to be 9am to open and 7pm to close. For America, we will take New York's opening, which is 1pm, and Chicago's closing, which is 11 p.m. So for the U.S., we will take 3 p.m. to open and 1 a.m. to close. For Asia, we will take Tokyo's midnight open and Hong Kong's 10 a.m. close. Therefore, our open will be 2 a.m. and our close midday. Since our indicator does not use the Pacific session, we will not make note of it. Once in your terminal, you will go to Custom Indicators and search for Session Group and click on the Inputs tab. We will edit the times as well as the colors so that we can easily differentiate between the different sessions even though they will be labeled.
We can adjust the periodicity as well, but keep in mind that the longer the time period, the more cluttered and clumsy the chart becomes. If you are on a time period shorter than the 15 minute chart, then you won't really be able to see the sessions either. So you might want to stay between the 15 minute and hourly charts. Have fun!